Hey guys, so I just got back from the gym, so don't mind my appearance, but I always get requests to do like a meal plan, like how I meal plan. I don't, so for anyone that knows me, sorry, my hair looks crazy. Anyone that knows me knows that I don't meal prep. So there's a difference between meal planning and meal prepping. Meal prepping is when you make all your food in like four days, five days in advance, and then you eat that same food throughout the week. I don't personally meal prep because one, I'm not like the biggest fan of leftovers, only certain foods I can eat leftover. Um, I don't get excited about it. For me and like my lifestyle, I like to be excited about my food and what I'm gonna eat. And um, just for me, eating the same thing every day is just not really sustainable for me. But I think meal prepping is great for people that work and f need to feel like prepared um, but like I said, just not for me. So for me, meal planning um, is just kind of planning out what I'm going to eat for the week and then go grocery shopping based on that just so I'm set up for what I'm going to eat that week. So I do go grocery shopping once a week. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how I plan my meals weekly. And um, I want it to be short and sweet because that's what it is. It's not, it's not hard. I like to make it easy on myself, um, simple. That way I'm not overwhelmed and stressed and that's why I do it weekly because I feel like if I have to shop like two weeks in advance, I just feel like too overwhelmed. Um, I don't know. That's just me personally. So I'm going to flip this camera around and show you guys my phone and exactly how I do everything. Here we have my phone right here. I'm hoping that you guys can see this. So this is how I do everything. I literally put everything in my notes on my phone. You can write it out. You can do whatever you want to do, but this is just what I personally do. So I write down... Every day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then I write down what we're going to have each night. So Monday, rolled chicken parm. Tuesday, pot roast. Wednesday, French onion chicken. Thursday, tacos. Friday, pizza. Saturday, buffalo nuggets. And Sunday, cheesy broccoli casserole. So today is Sunday. So that's what we're having tonight. The cheesy chicken broccoli casserole. And whoops. There we go. And so I have the rest of the week planned out. I weigh in on Tuesday. So I just have everything planned out for the rest of the week and then what I do is go one by one each recipe and I write down what I need so a lot of times I have a lot of the ingredients already in my fridge so um my phone's gonna die um so okay for example rolled chicken parm so I'm gonna need chicken breast so I put that down um I need mozzarella which I have already pizza sauce or marinara sauce which I have already um ham so I bought some ham so oh yeah it's right there um, ham, and then I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's oh, breadcrumbs, which I already have, so that's checked off. Pot roast, it's just the Tyson pre like ready to go pot roast you just throw in your um your crock pot, so I already have that. So Tuesday's checked off. Wednesday, French onion chicken, so I needed um, so I already went grocery shopping, so I like I exited out of a lot of stuff because when I'm there, I like delete it so I know, but okay, so beef broth. I got some beef broth, so that was on there, and also onions, so I need onions, and then what else for French onion chicken, that's pretty much it, and chicken, so I put another chicken on there, and then, <clears throat> so that's checked off, Thursday tacos, so I have ground beef and tortillas, so I write that down on my list. I already have the taco seasoning, and I already have sour cream, I already have um, taco sauce, so you just think of everything that you need for each meal, write it down. So Friday, pizza. I have everything I need for pizza, so I'm good there. Check that off. Saturday, buffalo nuggets. I put another chicken down, and then I already have shake and bake, I already have buffalo sauce, I already have, oh, actually, I put down, sorry guys, I like, like I said, I delete things as I go at the grocery store, because I already went. Um, so I needed ketchup and ranch so that's all I need for buffalo nuggets so check that off cheesy chicken broccoli casserole I already have the broccoli um, I had to get some cauliflower rice and then I already have cream of chicken soup I already have um, mayo so I just needed some cornflakes so I put that on there so that's checked off so then I just think, okay, what am I going to have for lunches? So lately I've been digging the same lunch. I just get um, cottage cheese. 
I've been liking the cottage cheese with um, turkey bacon, so I put that down. Eggs, I already have a lot of eggs. And um, then, sorry, I'm spacing out. Uh, for breakfast, I just have the same thing, so that's good. Snacks, I already have a lot of snacks here from last week. Um, but if I was going to do snacks, I'd write them down. So I'd write down like pop chips. Um, trying to think. I like the Weight Watcher snacks right now. Um, croutons, stuff like that. So I just go each, don't overwhelm yourself. I go one, 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 check it off, check it off, write down all the ingredients, and then that's it. And then I go to the grocery store and I just go off this list. And if I'm there and I see something like, oh yeah, totally forgot that, which doesn't really happen because I, I like to sit for like 30 minutes and make sure I write down everything. But if you see something there that you need, go ahead and grab it, an extra snack or whatever. So yeah, that's what I do. I do this every week. Um, uh, I don't really know what day. I mean, today's Sunday and I'm doing it. Um, most of the time it's like Monday night because I weigh on Tuesday and Tuesday kind of starts my week um, for me. So yeah, so I'm going to show you guys everything I got. Okay, so here's what I got at the grocery store. Just went based off my list. Got some chicken breast. I got two of the thin sliced because I really like the thin sliced. This is the um, beef roast that I love. Oh my gosh, I've been eating this since I started Weight Watchers. Like if you have followed my Instagram for a while, you'll remember this. I used to eat this all the time. It's so good, so freaking easy. Um, got some cottage cheese. I'm trying out new brands. Um, so we'll see how I like that. Two beef broths just because I'm going to make some extra French onion chicken. So we'll see if I'll need both. But either way, it's good to have some. Got some ham. This is my favorite turkey bacon right now. The uncured Sam's Choice. It's huge. The slices are like this thick. And um, they get super crispy. So I like those. And then these are the fruits I got. Just blueberries, bananas. I got a white onion, yellow onion. No sugar out of ketchup, full house ranch, fat free cheddar, which was also on the list, which I deleted, totally forgot to mention. Um, so I got that. Here's the tortillas that I love for tacos. These are one point each. I get them at Walmart. So I got all of this stuff at Walmart. Um, and then I just got some cornflakes for my casserole. So that's literally it, you guys. It's seriously so simple. I don't like to make it complicated because who has time for that? Um, I'm a mom. And I really don't have time to make like crazy elaborate meals and plan out like a month ahead of time or two weeks ahead of time and stuff like that. So let me flip this around and talk to you guys. So I hope this was helpful for you. I get that this question a lot, like how I how I do this. Um, and it's it's really that simple. I don't like to make it complicated. Um, yeah, so I don't like to make it complicated super simple try this out if you want to i know everyone does things differently this is just what works for me and my family and i know some people like hate going to the grocery store but i don't mind it so i just go every week and it keeps me prepared it keeps everything you know stocked i'm not like out of food and then have an excuse to go like go out you know what i mean so and if something does change during the week and we spontaneously like go out to eat with like family or something or some special occasion comes up then I'll either plan ahead if I know ahead of time or if it's last minute, I'll just move a meal down the list and then, you know, kind of just rotate it. Um, also, all of that food that I mentioned, um, plus a couple snacks for my husband, it was about 100 little over $100. So about $100 a week, give or take. It's different every time. A lot of the things I already had, um, but sometimes like if I run out of... A lot of stuff at once and I have to spend more so it just kind of depends I know I get a lot of questions about their prices too so each time depends like I said but for the most part it's around 100 150 sometimes 200 if my husband's getting lots of snacks for himself he and my son also have snacks that I don't eat like um, chocolate granola bars um, cheese it's goldfish my husband loves all of that so um, there are things like that but yeah like I said for the most part hundred hundred fifty dollars so yeah that's all i do i don't know if this is helpful let me know if this helped you guys um this might be common sense i don't know what other people do this is just how i do it keeps me prepared keeps me on track let me know any other video suggestions i know you guys love the what i eat in a days and the um, recipe videos so i'm gonna try to do those as much as possible and like always i'm always up for suggestions um and i'll see you guys in my next video